the World Economic Forum recently said that the single biggest threat to global economic development was chronic disease. The lessons that doctors learn in medical school and their training have very little to do with how to prevent and treat those illnesses. So we're, we're in a crisis point where for the first time in medicine, we're recognizing that the old paradigm isn't working anymore. A tremendously rapid change in our understanding of the origin of chronic disease at the cellular level, at the biomedical level, is uh, in a state of extraordinary flux. There's a huge, huge amount of viral DNA, genetic material, that is embedded in our genetic codes, in our chromosomes, and that these viruses are impacted to activate or not activate depending on the choices we make. The tide has really shifted from thinking of gut bacteria and bacteria in general as something harmful and pathogenic to realizing that bacteria are really a vital part of maintaining our health. If we want to talk about building health at its origins, well then frankly each of us needs to be in charge. We do that in the places we live and love and learn and work and pray and play, the places we actually live our lives and spend our time. We now know that shifts in consciousness can cause shifts in our biology, which are very fundamental at the level of gene activity. is um, is right there now before us. This is part of today's science. These technologies in a large way are going to make uh, you know, the tangibility of what your health means to you today, present in real time. And it's also going to give medicine all these new touch points to interact with you way before you're really, really sick, which I think is hugely important. The use of technology has to be there. One of the things that I really, really contemplated before I started my practice was how can I connect and relate better with patients? How can I build this relationship? I really see a model that is much more integrative, not just between conventional medicine and naturopathic medicine, but between specialties and between patients and physicians to much more of a conversation, a dialogue, as opposed to a monologue that a physician is having with their patients.